start off by like having a good solid friendship you know mm -hmm. with a little extra uh, yes, <laughs> yeah yes, yes. A, little, a little extra sizzle to yeah, it yeah a little extra sizzle yes okay and you um you said you appreciate like the slow burn you like a build up of tension yeah i um i don't like to just like jump right into things i like to like take my time i like to like figure things out mm -hmm. and like see if there's chemistry because um yeah, I mean, I'm like looking for something that will last a little bit longer than, you know, a fast burn, I guess. Right, right. You don't want it to just run quick and, and then dry out. You want something to laugh that exactly. has a little bit of exactly. substance to it. Yes, I love that for you. You deserve that, too. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, a little bit about you is you're a tarot reader. I am. You are. You're a tarot reader, and you're very into astrology. Uh -huh. And so you need someone that also has an interest in astrology, right? Yeah, yeah, like you don't have to like, you know, be super into it, but at least be open-minded, you know? Yeah. I, I, um, because it is it is like kind of super important to me, so I like, I mean, like an open-minded person, mm -hmm. you know, but you don't have to like be as obsessed with it as I am. Well, it is your career. It's like yeah. literally what you do for a living, you know? So they get the into it a Yeah, like bit. let me read your chart or something. Yeah. I'll pull a card for you. <laughs> that's fun, that's flirty. One of my favorite things about being your friend is how positive you always are. And how you can like make any situation a good time. Yeah, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Yes, yes. And you're looking for someone that has a similar mindset to you, right? Like, you don't want no pessimists. Yeah, no, I, I'm just here for a good time, like I said. So, um, I love someone that like yeah. wants to have fun, like not take life too yeah. seriously. Mm -hmm. You know, life's, life's a party. Not really, but like, life's a party. Life's a party. So with everything being like, having fun and having a good time, you really like dates that are like activities. You don't want to just like, go to a bar and have a drink. You want to like, go out and do something. And like, have an experience. What would be like, your ideal first date? I don't know, I feel like there's so many cool like bars in Chicago. Like I've been to this one that was like a spy bar and like oh. you like were like a secret agent in this room or whatever, had to like escape. Um, I love like arcade bars mm -hmm. and just like I wanna have like an experience if I'm going out. Yeah. Um, other than just like, you know, just drinking and you know, dancing right. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Although I love to drink and dance, but mm -hmm. yes. let's, let's like do something else, you know? Yeah, it's because those are fun. Those are fun to do. Um, but it's not like the like you also like to do other activities as well. When you're not out and about on town, what do you do to like unwind and relax at home? Smoke a lot of weed. Smoke a lot of weed. Mm -hmm. I smoke weed. <laughs> Give it up for weed, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just like to like just hang out. Like I'll like bake something or like mm -hmm. make some food, some pasta, watch some TV, smoke a little weed, you know. <laughs> Yes. Yes, I love that. You like to cook? I do. Um, I I'm trying to like expand my reach. I've been like trying a lot of like recipes that I grew up with, but I'm like also trying to like do other things. I, I made a um, vegan mac and cheese not long ago. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. okay, send me the recipe. <laughs> I will definitely send yeah. you. Yeah. Anytime you make something vegan, send it to me. <laughs> Are you looking for someone to cook with? No, get out of my way. Uh, that's me. That's yeah. me in the kitchen. There's only one room for us in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I don't need you in here. I can do it myself. <laughs> like, go finish laundry or something. <laughs> <laughs> I got this, babe. I, I got this. I got this. But you do want someone that knows how to cook for the nights that you can't whip up a gourmet meal, yeah, right? Yeah, I'll do laundry. Ex yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's all about that balance, like Mario says. Yeah. So you're trying to cook recipes from, you said, your childhood? Like family recipes? Yeah, so I've been talking to my mom a lot about like meals that I grew up with. Um, I just learned how to make like flautas, Ooh. which was great. They came out really good. Is your relationship yeah. with your family important to you? Um, it is, yeah. I'm actually like pretty close with my family, um, super close to my siblings. They're like besties. Um, I yeah, talk to my mom like every day, my yes. dad like every other day. Um, <laughs> so yeah, fa family is like 
pretty big for me. Pretty big for you. And you, you want to have someone that you can introduce to your family, right? Yeah, I gotta bring home someone to mom. <laughs> Mom's got to approve. Mom's got to approve. Mom's that's that's approve. the final test, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. One of my other favorite things about you, I'm just going to sit here and list my favorite things about Marcos, and then you're all going to be like, oh, I can't talk to Marcos. <laughs> um, is that you, like we said, you're like, you're very fun and you've got this great energy, but you're also very like grounded. Like I feel like I could come to you with a problem and you would be able to be like, all right, yeah, let's, let's sit down. Let's think about it from another angle and figure it out. Like, you have this very, like, lightheartedness to you, but you're still grounded. And I think that that's super important and also, like, kind of difficult to do, you know? It's my Capricorn moon, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I love that about you, because you're, like, you're always open to having, like, deep and serious conversations. Like, you're curious about how the world works. Give me the tea. Give me the tea. Yes! <laughs> Um, okay, we we touched a little bit the other day on you know you like your little sex life. You said you have a <clears throat> a little a little bit a little bit. We're like we'll talk about it for a little bit. I'll mention some things. <laughs> some things, some things. You just said that you were like looking for someone that you had like physical chemistry with, someone that you're just like attracted to, and the more you get to know them, the more attracted to them. Which I think is the important part of like the the friends to lovers, the slow burn type of thing. You're like. The more I know you, the more I'll like you. Yeah. No, ex exactly. Um, I was I was just thinking that like I feel like if it's like just purely based on physical attraction, that's that's a quick burn. Yes. Um, that probably won't make me stick around too much. You know, I I really like I'm drawn to people for their personality, like who they're who they are on the inside, mm -hmm. you know, the characteristics, their their humor, all that stuff. Um, yeah, looks looks are great. It's flashy, you know. It's it, you know, cute people are cute people, but yes. um, I think I stick around more when I, I have like chemistry and connection with that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Welcome all of you! Hi friends! <laughs> I honestly was so worried about this out name. I do very well with gay women. Uh, and then the, my gay men percentages is a little bit, a little bit smaller. It's fine, I'll just find a mom right here. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. But you'll get a friend! I love friends, hi! hi. Love friends. Can you guys please introduce yourself and say your pronouns? Yeah, I the microphone. Mic. Okay. Hi, I'm Julianne, she, her. Be she, her. I am Tyler, I use they, them. Awesome. Okay, Marcos, do you have questions for them? Okay, so you, you watch Buffy, right? Has everyone watched Buffy? I've watched Buffy, it's been a minute since I've seen a lot of the episodes. But I'm, yes, I've been there. Who is your favorite character? I, uh, you could ask me this any day and I would probably have a different answer, but right now I'm going to say Cordelia just because I love her, her charisma. No, that's, that's no pun intended. I know, no seriously, I just said that and then I realized. Uh, but I love her, her confidence and her outfits and, um, I would also say Willow is another great contender. Got it. I need to think of more questions. Um, you could ask the others what their favorite witchy TV show is. Because oh, yeah. there are a lot of witchy TV well, shows. What is your favorite witchy TV show or movie? Or like a mystic show, you know. Not, not like quite sci-fi, like we don't want robots. We want like spiritual mystic witchy. Okay, so this past Halloween, um, I couldn't find, I couldn't pirate all of them, so I <laughs> paid for Disney Plus and I watched all of the Halloween Town movies. Yeah! Yes! And like, I forgot how in love with Marnie I was, and it was nice to remember how fantastic of a person she was. And she was a great witch. She was what? a badass witch, so I would say Halloween Town is an all time favorite of mine. Awesome. So I'm an Olsen stand, and I'm gonna say double, double, twin. Wow! Love that. Amazing answers. Okay, same would be friends. <laughs> right, right, so we're, we're like friends. We're like planning out our hangout. We're like, where are we going, Bessie? <laughs> <laughs> the pressure's on. 
Honestly, I'm all about a low-key hangout. Like, you want to just come sit on my floor and read tarot cards, like, read each other's birth charts, like, find out all the information about each other, create new insights for each other. I'm, I'm about that. Maybe we, we smoke some weed, have some rosé. Yeah, I'm leaning towards that. My vibe is I have a child, so it's got to be... <laughs> Segway tour guide. Ooh. So I say we rent segways and I give you the lakefront architecture tour of Chicago. Wow. And I'll make sure you won't fall into the lake also. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, Marcos, do you know who you would like to go downstairs and share a drink with? Because you like Buffy and you mentioned tarot, I'm gonna have to say, let's go get a drink. Yay! Yay! Both of your guys' as friends, I think you'll hit it off very well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, okay, thank you so much, Marcos. You and Julianne enjoy your drink downstairs. Um, and I will see you in a little bit. Hot potato hearts, where the perfect spot is your.